We all have these things we want to do in our lives. Goals, dreams, aspirations, call it whatever you want. And the earth-shakingly sad fact is we never take a shot. But I want to invite you to watch me as I take a shot at bettering myself and bettering my life in a raw and unfiltered weekly documentary called The Yoga Dream Journey. The first step to any breakfast pizza is, well, pizza. And then after that, you simply add breakfast. So it's about five o'clock right now. I just got back from work and I need to go on a run. I didn't run yesterday actually, so my legs are kind of missing that. So I just got back from running and I've never downloaded a running or a workout app before. It's actually really cool. At mile one, it said, mile one complete, you have ran for nine minutes and 42 seconds. I'm like, okay, cool. But it's kind of bad, right? Because then I'm like, oh, well, I can beat that. And then so I ran for three miles and then the last, um, the third mile I did in like seven minutes and 42 seconds. I'm totally addicted to it and I can't wait to go running again just so I can try the app. It's pretty vain, but it's kind of awesome at the same time, so. So if you see me eating a Girl Scout cookies, there's a good reason because I actually end up buying probably about 70 to 80 boxes of um, Girl Scout cookies and then I keep them in the freezer and then I save them and sell them to my friends uh, during the year um, when you can't get them anymore. I usually make about like four to five hundred dollars extra profit on that, so that's a lie. I actually don't do that. This is the end of day eight. I went to work for about seven hours today. I worked out for about an hour, and I worked on stuff for my yoga dream life for about six hours, and that's the day. So I have a good friend, uh, Joey, if you're watching, hi, and he said that as he was a, a manager over quite a few people, he would always tell his folks, like, you need to be constantly re-evaluating your systems of how you do things and becoming more efficient. And we had a long talk about it one night and I could not agree more because I produce so much content that I absolutely have to, if I, if I spend three seconds after filming a video to kind of tag it and everything, those three seconds could save me three minutes later. And while that may not seem like a lot, it's a massive amount of time when you multiply it over days, weeks, months, and years. So these weak blocks of time that I do, um, I'm learning tons about time management. And because when I sit down at the computer, I wanna go and I wanna edit. But when I have to spend time sifting and sorting through files and everything, it is not an option. That's what it's all about. It's just really constantly reevaluating your system of how you do things. How can you be more efficient and how can you produce more and suffer from less headaches? Hello everybody. So it is Friday night. I actually just got off the phone with uh, someone I'm going to do a collaboration with and you guys are going to see it in, I don't know if it's next week or the week after, but I'm like so stoked to be able to add uh, more content to this. And at the moment I am driving, well not now because I'm sitting at home, but the time lapse as you see me driving. I'm going to go pick up a hard drive because I need more space on my computer. One week of filming and all the time lapses and everything for all of this is around 400 gigs of information. Yeah, video editing is, uh, is a storage space issue a lot of the times. And then coming back, dismantling my computer, installing it, and I picked up the drive. Awesome story is that I got a 500, like I pulled one off the shelf. But you don't pull the actual thing off the shelf, right? You pull, you pull like a fake box and you take this fake box up to the register and then you say, hey, I'd like to buy this. And so they take the fake box and then they exchange it for a real box. Well, they didn't have the real box for the 500 gig that I want. And she says, hey, come take a look and see what we have. So I say, okay, and I go and look and there is this guy which is a 960, so it's basically twice as much as I was looking for. I have the gift card from Best Buy. Anyways, when it's all said and done, weird twist of fate, I end up getting a awesomer drive using the gift card. It's on sale, and so I only end up paying like 
$140 for a 960 gig uh, SSD drive. In their selection of fake boxes, they didn't have the 960. The 960 wasn't there. So it's just so weird how it all worked out. Okay, and after all that, I am live and ready to edit. I am so stoked. I have not actually dug into the guts of uh, a computer in a long time, and everything's cool, um, and uh, I, I think it's good to go. So here's the irony of everything, is that I buy this drive so I don't have to transfer files so much and wait for stuff to happen. <laughs> but uh, I have to do a massive transfer, like, right now. So a lot of what my life is each night is thinking, oh, it's like 1 a.m., I'll go to bed. And then I realize I have other stuff that absolutely needs to get done. Uh, and then I end up staying up for another 30 minutes to an hour. So I need to get better at that. So I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to basically not die of editing all the damn time. Like 1.15 in the morning. Um, I'm going to bed. Things are good. Life's great. Uh, good morning. It's, uh, oh Jesus. It's 7 uh, a.m. And I'm uh, dropping my buddy off at the airport. So, didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Hi, so if you see me looking uh, kind of miserable here, it's because I am. Uh, uh, I like kind of like a stomach bug thing. Mentally, I feel sharp. I'm still gonna keep working. I'd rather kind of be like laying down in the fetal position doing nothing. I could do that or I could get stuff done, right? This is the lowest part of my week, hands down. I keep making mistakes on this simple edit, like mistake after mistake. Just a quick run to the store here to get some coconut water. Now I am definitely not sponsored by Zyko uh, whatsoever, at least not right now. As of episode two, I am not. I don't care if this is a shameless plug because I love this stuff, right? Like we all have those products where it's like, you just can't live without it. Like, oh, it has to be this and it has to be that. Well, I'm probably really dehydrated right now. And so I just want some coconut water. Oh my god. So as weird as this may sound, I feel pretty grateful right now that like, I can share me just like feeling really shitty with you because like, it's not all peaches and cream. Like this sucks. I feel bad that like I didn't get more done tonight and I'm going to bed earlier than I want to just because I need to like heal and relax. I guess, it, does that make sense? Like, I feel grateful I can, like, share this with you to let you know that, like, yeah, like, it, there's gonna be times that suck, and this, this sucks right now, so maybe I'll feel better tomorrow? I don't know. Good morning. I feel substantially better and had some really, like, fucked up dreams and I would sit here and explain it to you but it never makes sense right for example so I'm driving a car but then I'm not driving a car anymore I'm flying a plane so this is probably the nicest day all year and I'd really love to be outside doing stuff but um, when you commit to doing something you got to do it right so it's just a major block of time that I have to commit to every Sunday it takes about an hour to transfer um, all of the files that I just recorded over to the computer. I have good news, I have bad news. The good news is that I've sealed up two collaborations which are in the work. The bad news is that all of the audio for week 12, the audio is terrible. It is crap, it is basically unusable. I'm crossing my fingers that I can send it to my buddy who works with audio and he can sample some stuff out of it and make it usable. Times are tough. Uh, I have an organizational nightmare ahead of me and it's driving me crazy. Like, I am going to go crazy. 
I'm ordering new audio equipment at the moment. I need to, and it's funny because I can't quite afford to, but I can't afford not to at the same time. It's 1 a.m. I'm going to bed. Good morning. It is Monday, and uh, it's going to be a real short day today because basically um, I'm just going to focus and edit and get things organized. One thing after another has been going wrong, like I can't even begin to describe to you. Even I turn on a light and the light goes out. Like it is not cool. So short day today. This is it. This is Monday and I will talk to you on Tuesday. Good morning. It is day 14 of the yoga dream journey. So it's a beautiful day in Albuquerque. It's like 50 degrees out, sun is shining, there's really no wind. I'm gonna head over to my uh, favorite coffee shop and grab a quick cup of coffee. All right, I got the coffee, time to get back home. And check this out, it says stay grounded. All right. Hey look you guys. A roadrunner. All right, back home and back to editing. Good news, I got the audio back from my friend and everything is gonna be fine. I fortunately do not have to re-record a whole week's worth of content. Just got an email that my Amazon lavalier mic has shipped, so hopefully I can get rid of all of these annoying audio issues when I record. Quick side note about Monday, if you're feeling it gypped that you did not get anything, well then, um, I was just at the computer all day. It was very uneventful. So just making up for it by showing you today that I actually do get out of the house and I do go and do things. Okay everyone, that is our episode for the week. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna hit you with some numbers here, just like I did last week, but I wanted to have a quick talk, a quick heart to heart about preaching. I never wanna come off preachy, like you should do this and you should do this. Who the hell am I to know what you should do in your life? I'm just speaking from a point of passion. I'm passionate about what I do, and I hope that this motivates somebody out there to maybe take a step away from their job life or whatever their life situation is so that they can move into something better and better themselves. And for me, it's about eating my own dog food. Like, I am putting myself through this, documenting it, putting in the work, and that's the best analogy I can give you. Eat your own dog food. <laughs> so, I thank all of you for being here, and please share, subscribe, like, all of that good stuff. From my heart to all of yours, thank you guys, and I will, I will talk to you soon. <laughs>